Hey guys, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan. And we're taking a look at a 1995 Land Cruiser Prado that was bought from auction in Japan. It's going to be exported to Canada. So this one here was bought, obviously, from auction, as I said. 1995, 160, 680 kilometers. The Land Cruiser Prado is kind of like the baby Land Cruiser. It carries the same body as the Land Cruiser 70 and then has the same engine as the Hilux Surf in it and then has different interior trim and things. I'm not sure of all of the differences. These generally cost a decent amount less. They come with a 3 liter turbo diesel engine instead of the 4 liter or 4.2 liter diesels. And so it's like a four cylinder Land Cruiser. I'm a huge fan of the Land Cruiser 70 and I really like the Prado, especially since this one gives you the third row seats and so you get the full seven seats in this one, whereas the standard Land Cruiser diesels here in Japan are the five seaters. So let's have a look what we have here. Three liter turbo diesel engine. Not an awful lot to say here. This splashed water is not leaking and the drops down there are not leaks either. What happened is I got a surprise. I always open these to check the fluid and see if there's any contamination in them or anything like that. And this one opened it up and bam, it just went everywhere. I guess built up back pressure in there, but not enough to push the uh, thermostat in here to let it go into the coolant overflow. And so that was a bit of a surprise. I open these every single vehicle that I check and this is only the second time that's happened and it might make me have to buy a new shirt. That's really disappointing. I mean you can't see it but it's a pink coolant it's going to show up in stains and it's uh, oil based and so I wouldn't be able to wash it out I don't think. Darn it. Okay so uh, everything mechanically seems to be okay the engine runs really nicely. I'm gonna put the camera down to lower the hood because the vehicle is tall enough that I can't reach one-handed okay so we're gonna take a look at the outside of the car the inside check it compared to the auction sheet when you buy the cars from auction here in Japan you get a full inspection sheet and here it is so let's go over this Okay, so 1995 Land Cruiser Prado SX wide version, 3 liter diesel, auction grade 3.5, interior grade C, 160, 680 kilometers, automatic transmission. They also come in a 5 speed if you like. Power steering, power windows. Original black color was changed to matte black, and the seller thought that it was paint, but it wasn't. It's a uh, wrapping on the car, a matte black wrapping. Okay, diesel turbo car. Here it says matte black paint, but that's been crossed out and then the inspector wrote matte black wrapping. See for yourself in person for details. And it obviously is a wrap and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, aftermarket floor mats, spare key, leather seat covers that seem to be really good, uh, in really good condition, so that's good. Dashboard has a crack. Oh, these are the inspector's notes here. Dashboard is cracked. You can see it through the windshield here. Here here and there. there. There was a monitor placed on it there that has cracked the dashboard and then these pieces here, I don't know why. Okay, steering wheel wear. Interior dirty, wheel scratch, various scratches and dents. And then if you look at the uh, body here, you have some medium scratches on the front, rock chip and the windshield. Large scratches around the over fender on the right rear. And then the left rear corner has a large dent. AU3 is a large dent and scratch. And then the back bumper has a mild scratch on it. Okay, so let's do once around here. And so we have aftermarket headlights, tail lights, and aftermarket front bush bar. Gives it a nice look with the matte black wrapping. The wrapping is good. It's it's come kind of un like separated in some places. And I'll show you once we get over to the other side, but for now just go once around. Looks like it's on standard suspension with standard wheel size. Makes the vehicle a suitable size, not not uh, so big it's uncomfortable to drive. Still pretty good off-road, I would think. So the 70 series is the more off-road oriented version of the Land Cruiser. And pardon me for being dark here. It'll be light in a second. Ta-da, light! And so you can tell with the shape of the car, the extremely short front overhang, you can see that uh, you get a good approach angle. Departure angle is pretty good compared to other uh, SUVs, but obviously it's longer in the back there to fit stuff in your trunk, including kids if you want to put your kids in the trunk. And you can in this one because it has the extra seats. 
The extra seats are really tiny. They're kind of Japanese leg size. Uh, not that everyone in Japan has small legs, but a lot of Japanese cars have back seats that just would not be suitable in other markets. Okay, so really cool looking vehicle. They, may, they still make this generation of the uh, Land Cruiser now. And so I think it's 35 years that they've made it for. 30 years, not 35. Okay, so the Prado has the different front face. So you get the headlights that are wider apart than the regular Land Cruiser, and then not as pronounced of over fenders. And that's how you can tell the Prado from the uh, full Land Cruiser. This front bumper is pretty awesome looking. It has uh, places for front lights, if you want to put those. And then it's been painted matte black to match the rest of the car. There's an interesting little uh, decal here. It says Auto Graffiti X EXP. I guess that's the company that did the wrapping, maybe. Here's another logo of theirs. Okay, so you get a special mirror here for seeing your blind spot. And then standard mirrors up here. They're chrome. The chrome's a little bit uh, pitted, you can see. We have visors up there. Back door opens in two doors. The reason for that is so that you can have the rear mount tire on there without uh, sacrificing the ability to open the door. So this way you can open the one door here. You can put something in if it's just small or you can open the second door here so you can put in bigger things. Now these back seats, they fold down and then fold up against the walls there to give you more room here. And then the middle row, folds down this way and then again that way and it gives you a really big area in the back I think a full 170 centimeters or so is my guess okay close that up now a lot of Land Cruisers suffer from rusting this one seems to have no rust in the underside or the body anywhere and so that's very nice here's what I was talking about with the peeling of the wrap it's right there and then it's a two-tone wrap. There's satin and matte and satin. See the center stripe here is, is slightly different. And then there's a little bit of peeling at the bottom here, right where they match. Okay, more so on the other side too, but I'm not gonna get into it. I already got the pictures. Here's the AU3. Okay. And then over to the other side to show you the A3 on the fender. Now fender kits for these are pretty common. And so if you don't like the scratched up fender, you can get new fenders put on. If you want to lift it up and go with a wider fender and wider tires, then you can do that too. Okay, speaking of the tires, we got a little bit of a weirdo one here because we got Geolander tires on all three plus the spare. It looks like the spare tire is on the left front. And so these are uh, 2000, 2017 tires, so brand new from this year. I don't know why somebody would put brand new tires on and then sell the car. This one here is a BF Goodrich and it looks like it's never been used but looks like it was probably the spare tire here on the back um, previously because it looks a little bit old. It doesn't have a date stamp on it. And then this one here matches the other Geolanders but you're not going to get very far with that. And so I don't know what happened there. I don't know if there was a flat or something recently and uh, it just came off of its bead. I looked at it, it doesn't look damaged anywhere, so kind of weird on that one. And then pretty good looking LED aftermarket tail lights there. Okay, onto the interior. Ooh, third brake light, yeah. It's the little things in life. Now you get this super 90s interior trim on the doors. It's almost funny because the car, the vehicle itself is so tough looking and this is it's like a vacation. Steering wheel cover on there. Didn't check the steering wheel under it. Here's the seats with the seat covers on them. You can see they look really nice. The leather is soft and it feels like real leather to me, but I don't know. Some of that fake leather can be pretty convincing. Maybe it is fake leather. I don't know. Okay, stepping in here. So AC works and it's nice and cold and that's a good thing because I'm hot today. So we got aftermarket double DIN CD player, cigarette lighter, and uh, I think it's a 12 volt for this, not 24 volt like the full Land Cruisers are. 
There were smokes in here, but the car doesn't smell that much of smokes. AC, idle up, shifter, high gear, and low gear. So you just stay in high and it's two wheel drive, rear wheel drive. You press this one here and then you're in four wheel drive. And then you press this one here and your front um, axle will lock. Okay, so power steering seems to work well. E-brake works, shifting is nice and smooth, brakes work. Everything mechanically seems like it's gonna do well and being a Toyota, it should be good for a long time. This is aftermarket and it's kind of goofy and, and hokey. Oh, and I just noticed this, it's missing the visor up here. That's a weird one. Hmm. Okay. Into the middle row. Okay. And so you get pretty good room in the middle row. The back one's really small and a little bit challenging to get into. So completely flat floor here. It's nice, you get your own uh, rear heat controls. Lots and lots of headroom and lots of glass all the way around. So visibility on these is amazing. Now to get into the back, pull this lever, the seat goes forward. Now you can flip it up again by pulling here and do the flippy, get into the back. And then back seats, you can see, the seat itself is not a bad sh shape, but you can see that you don't get much room there, plus the, the um, space between the cushion and the floor is really low, and so really not gonna fit very many people into there. Let's try and see what it's like. And so yeah, you got this thing going on with the legs. Now these back seats can fold um, down. Uh, where's the, fold down like this and then the seat can go up. Oh, I can actually do it. Come on, muscles. You can do it. Arrgh, like that. Now, usually you don't have to grunt that much to do it, only if you're me. And it has auto locks so that you don't have to do any levers. Once you put this one down, you can lift it up. It's pretty cool that way. And let's hop out. And then seat goes down and seat goes up. Once again, no levers to pull. This is the full upright position, which is going to be a bit uncomfortable. And so click it back a couple of clicks. There we go. And the leather seat covers match all the way around. So thumbs up. Car came with a set of tires here. And uh, when the car comes with tires, they're generally going to be garbage. We can send them to any buyer if they want to pay for shipping, but we can't ship them in the car. But you can't ship a mounted tire. And so we have to pay a company to take the tires and the rims off. And then when you take that into account, plus transporting them to the tire shop, plus the shipping, plus the packaging, it turns out to cost more than they're worth. And so, ooh, that plate does not come with the car. But this does. Auto Graffiti. Auto Graffiti is the GM mark. Very funny. I always wonder about companies that have multiple different logos. Strange. Okay, so that's going to be it for this Prado. Hope you enjoyed the walk around. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section. If you want to check out importing a car yourself from Japan, then check out our website. There's a link to us in the description there. So thank you everyone for watching and have a nice day.